I'm Kate. Most of you know me as a sleepy teacher, but I also am the sleepy artist. So I recently found an artist named Claire Brimner, and I love her work. I love everything she does. I think she's a phenomenal artist. And I found her actually because I joined this um, online year-long class called Wonderlust. And while I'm very, very far behind, because I've just done the Claire Brimner, and that was like week six, and we're at like week 50, um, I fell in love with Claire Brimner. And so I really wanted to get some of her artwork. And I've been following her on Instagram for a while, and <laughs> she um, posted, because she's known for her landscapes, and she posted this really gorgeous painting, an abstract face painting with, with uh, still hints of her landscape um, kind of style that she does. And she had said, oh, what do you guys think about this? Do you guys like how this looks? And it was like resounding. Everyone was like, these are gorgeous. These are gorgeous. So I went on to her, her web page where you can look at her work and her blog and you can buy originals and stuff. And I decided to buy two pieces of artwork from her. And I was hesitant to buy it actually because I was so, so nervous that coming from Australia, they would come damaged or something like that. Now, Claire Brimner has taken every effort in this, you know, here it says fragile, do not bend. It says it on the back as well. Like, I mean, she went through a lot of effort to make sure things didn't come bent. And I was so excited when I heard the mailman come. I was not pleased when I heard him kind of like not place it on my stoop, just drop it on my stoop. But um, I thought, no, no, those can't be my Claire Brimner's. And I go out there and it's like fragile, do not bend from Australia. And I was like, no, oh no, oh no. And um, when you look at like the packaging, I don't know how well you can tell. This obviously isn't from when the mailman, you know, didn't delicately put it on my stoop. But um, this is definitely in transit. It was like a little bit, um, I almost don't want to say curled. <laughs> I don't want to say bent, I almost want to say curled. And so I was like, as I was unboxing it, I was getting more and more nervous because when I opened it, it looked like this. I mean, that was heart wrenching. And I thought, oh no, the pieces are gonna be ruined. Like, what am I gonna do? Like, even on this side, there's a bit of a bend. Like, I really thought like, you know, like a dog ear, like it was gonna be, pretty much ruined and my heart sank. I mean, it literally sank and I was just so, so incredibly sad. And then I got the pieces and it's gonna be kind of hard for you to tell because I'm not gonna show you the the, pic, the painting yet, but like there, here's an example of her like landscapes that she's known for, by the way. So when you look at this here, right? Like the issue is right in here. And I don't know if you can see that, but it, it curls. It's like, it's not a complete bend. It's kind of more like it got curled. Um, because when you look here, it's, it's perfectly straight. And then um, here it's not. And so of course I freaked out. <laughs> um, but as I started investigating it more, what I, I think will happen is if I um, get it framed, which I, I plan on doing, um, I think that that little part here, I think it'll it'll just flatten itself out. And then this one is is a little bit even more like you can really see it. Um, at least I can really see it. Wait, let me see if I can get you to really see what I really see. Okay, so if I'm looking at this, this is perfectly straight and then you see it kind of curls backwards. And I mean, you can see that it's like straight and then it isn't straight like it should be straight all the way down and this is definitely curled up so then i started investigating the paper and i looked to see if the paper had any damage the paper itself does not have any damage the artwork itself does not appear to be damaged thank god um because this artwork is just stunning 
And I, again, like I said, if I just put it in a frame, which I will, it'll flatten out because it is paper. So it'll re-flatten itself. And the only area that it, it kind of is bent in here is um, this area here. I don't really know if that's showing up so well on camera, but in person, you, you can see it pretty clear as day. Um, like, look, if I hold it like this, I just don't think it's picking up on camera. But believe you me, <laughs> I was extremely nervous. So what I'm gonna do now is I wanna show you the pieces. Um, I don't remember if I showed you this. She sent a little postcard that says thank you. Um, with a little note from her as well. So Claire, thank you so much. Um, this is really lovely. Um, and also I can get 15% off if I wanna buy anything else. So um, pretty cool. So I'm excited about that. So the first piece of artwork that I wanna show you, it's just, you guys, it's so beautiful. When you see this artwork, you're gonna know why I bought it. So here is the first and it is in wrap, so if I hold it this way, there won't be too much of a glare. Look at this portrait. It is abstract. It has got her landscape. It is gorgeous. Like, I absolutely am in love with this. And she started a face series, um, and she's got a bunch of different sizes, so they're definitely affordable, and it's original artwork, you guys. It's original artwork, which is amazing. Um, and so this is the size, I think they call it A5. I think it's, um, you know, like an eight and a half by 12, maybe something like that. It's just absolutely like, it's so gorgeous. Claire, I love this piece. And this is, um, this was titled Face One. So, um, it's just, I'm such a proud, proud owner of this piece of artwork. And the second piece that I got, because <laughs> let's be honest, it's all I could afford, um, this one, oh, look at it, you guys, it's just, I saw it on her website and I was like, oh, that, that's really pretty, but in actual person, oh my God, it's to die for. And this one is one of her bigger pieces. I forget the size. She has an, she has, um, like three, three sizes that she does, I believe. Um, she's got the eight and a half by 12. She has this size. And then I think she's got 30 by 22, which is just a little bit too big for me personally. Um, but this is a perfect, perfect size. And it's just, it's so beautiful and stunning in real life. I cannot wait to get them framed and hung in my house. Um, she did mention something about the word gall, like don't let the, the gall touch the painting. If you have any clue what a gall is, can you, G-A-L-L, -L, could you just like leave me a comment down below? Cause I've got no clue what that is. But anyway, so these are my two pieces of artwork. They're my Claire Brimner's. Um, I'm beyond through the moon. Yes, there is that curl. No, I don't think it's gonna actually affect the painting, especially when I have it, um, when I get it um, framed, it should be just fine. So anyway, you guys, if y'all don't know Claire Brimner, you're going to want to get to know her. She's amazing. And Claire, thank you so much. I love my pieces of art. Amazing. Much love to everyone. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, think about it. Helps me out. I do post art videos. I mostly post teaching videos, but I might even start a second channel to kind of separate the two. But for now, we're doing a melting pot, shall we say. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.